hi so um, it's just a quick video uh, some people asked about the grid thing that animates uh, in my other videos um, it's a simple thing so I'm just show you what it is so basically uh, you make a grid of nine elements so it's a nine by nine grid and you have some process to um, fill in the color of the of the grid. In this case, I just put it, put a, a random. But well, it just has to be between minus one and one. So you see, if you evaluate this along, and then you have the weight for the animation loop. And for the live coding parts of of this process, I assign anything that I want to change later on a global variable, environmental vari variable. I think it's called in local either. And yeah, you have a loop to animate um, you usually use a routine to do it and the update function takes a process input so whatever that whatever process that generates a value values between minus one and one is taken to the update process update function and it's evaluated at each loop cycle and usually I have a sound pro, uh, producing code here in this case it's a sine wave grain and after the update the grid that we first initialized gets updated it gets filled up with whatever process you define you defined in this so you we can utilize the grid value to uh, change the parameter of uh, synthesis process in this case it's a grain parameters as you see here and then we have the drawing bit we need to ref uh, refresh the window but it has to be deferred and it's a peculiar thing of super collider yeah, is that because i'm using a clock that's that is more accurate than the application clock which is a system clock that clock cannot refresh anything related to you know um, UI GUI so it has to be deferred to the application clock and then as you see weight is also a function so it can be anything from a constant value to something that changes like function and then I have the functions that draw two functions that draw but you can add more functions as you as you please and then update that we've seen here basically uh, in this case just updates the first nine 
grids of the 9x9 nine nine grids and then the rest is a kind of delay so it takes the previous values and it just pushes to uh, pushes uh, down downwards basically it's easier to see than explain and then I have this simple uh, sine wave grain since death which I control from the generated grid values and then these are the drawing I mean the GUI bits and then as you see this is a button click it uses a system clock to, to play the routing that's why we cannot directly update the view and then some command period handy things so that I can close and stop the process with command period so let's see what it does so it initializes the grid with 9 by 9 so 81 zeros if we evaluate this alone we get 9 by 9 zeros which is the color of the grid at the moment and then the process I defined is just giving random values between minus one and one so we will see how it becomes so you see only the first grid we generate the value between minus one and one and that gets pushed downwards but you can use any of these grids to control the granules in this case I'm using just the first of these and if we let's say use some other process to fill up the value so we can just assign something different some different kind of process to uh, generate values so let me just do use a psic make it a stream and call stream next assign it to, to the process so it's just uh, going from minus one to one linearly if we change to this slower and if we take p brown which is a brownian motion random walk thing we get a different process to uh, fill up the grid slower and actually if you want uh, the, the other drawing function we can switch also to the oh I'll probably we have to reassign yeah just to have this yeah so this lines shows more clearly the polarity of the of the values so when it's minus it's left when it's plus it's right right words angled yeah so it's just that I will upload the code so you can check this out thanks for watching